it's necessary to have a specific treatment for a particular disease. And especially when, when we talk of viruses, <clears throat> the specific treatment becomes something sort of a relative, I mean, sort of a concept because uh, these viruses have, uh, uh, these are basically D, uh, DNA or RNA particles, right? So these RNA particles have capsules or uh, they have some antigens over there and they go on changing this antigenicity of there. They go on changing those sort of what you can say, those characters or those, those, those uh, things by which they, they express themselves. They, 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 they go on changing, they go on changing. And, and when that is the thing, having a specific treatment for for, for such a thing is, is uh, sort of very difficult. But that does not mean that these patients cannot be saved. Okay. Now what happens, as I, as I previously also mentioned, what happens actually is that this virus damages the tissues, damages the lungs. So the lungs become more prone to infections from other bacteria. Mm -hmm. And those bacteria can be handled with antibiotics, drugs and other things. So what should be understood is this, that the patients who get a severe illness, mm -hmm. they get severe illness partly because of the virus infection, load of the virus in the body, and partly because of the infections which get super added, that we call them a complicated infection. Mm -hmm. It is those complications which have to be taken care of, and these patients do survive. So yes, there is a chance for not every, every patient who gets, not every person who gets infected with this virus is going to die. Not every patient who gets admitted because of this disease is going to die. Not every patient who gets a severe disease because of this virus mm -hmm. is going to die. No, that's not the case. Uh, that's what, about, what I'm saying. What about the treatment? Is there any specific treatment? What I'm saying, I have been saying specific treatment is a very, this is a very relative term when we even talk about the viruses. Mm -hmm. It's a very relative term. Here, we are talking about the complications. This virus causes a complicated disease. People are scared that this virus spreads through meat and meat products. Do you think non-vegetarian food has a role to play in the spread of this disease, or is it, is it just a preposterous canard? Actually, people say there are many things which, which people, people uh, tend to spread on the social media and other things. There are many things which are not, I mean, sort of, uh, what I can say, they, 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 they are not to the point and, and which resist from spreading this type of messages on the social media. Now, meat and meat products per se do, do, do not have a direct correlation with this, uh, with, with COVID-19, COVID right? Now, yes, because that the coronavirus tends to happens to be in the environment, in the, in the vicinity of the animals, it does not mean that <clears throat> the, the, the meat and the meat products which the people consume uh, carry this virus along with them and then, then uh, I mean, uh, they ingest these viruses uh, when, they, when the food is cooked. See, when you cook meat or any meat product, you cook it in a very high temperature. Right? And that, that very high temperature kills not only this virus, all other viruses which are there in the food. So eating meat, cooked meat, does not have any direct relationship with the spread of this disease. Mm -hmm. Yes, there are some theoretical possibilities that the people who handle the meat and the meat products may have a chance to contact this disease. But then that also depends upon whether the meat is infected per se or not, right? right. So uh, at, the, at the most, at the most, if the people who handle the raw meat mm -hmm. and raw meat products of infected uh, these, uh, the animals, mm -hmm. infected cattle, mm -hmm. they have a preponderance, they may have a chance to, to, to contact the disease. But that's very, I mean, in, in epidemics, uh, is a very minuscule thing. It, is, it doesn't matter at all. Mm -hmm. What matters is that when you cook the food properly, 
all the viruses they get they get i mean they get destroyed all right um there is a new trend that people are going out or rather we're going out to buy lemons so do you think that fruit and vegetables are a cure for this disease or can these food items prevent it again there are many many people who are just uh, putting on putting on the videos uh, i mean whosoever comes up and putting on the videos like you should take this type of fruit that type of fruit this type of vegetable that type of vegetable it's not actually it doesn't work that way <laughs> the all these citrus fruits as you as you as you said lemon and 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 somebody was talking about musambi and other things they contain vitamins and vitamin c happens to be a a a a preponderant ingredient of these uh, these these uh, fruits and vegetables now uh, vitamin c is is definitely a protective vitamin right if if one consumes a good amount of good quantity of of a fruit that's that's okay that's that's not a bad thing to do but when you just go on the 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 social media and then just uh, demonstrate with the people that baskets and baskets of mosambis have to be consumed they have to be put into 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 that juice maker and and juice has to be sque- squeezed out of those i mean 12 13 uh, these uh, i mean uh, mosambis all of a sudden that that juice has to be consumed over days together two three four days I think that is somehow, I mean, that's not, I mean, that's not confirmed and that's not, I mean, sort of, it's not, science, science does not, I mean, uh, I mean, I mean, sort of support such type of claims. Okay. That, that, that's what I can say about it. Okay, now the last question is, how long will the vaccine take to be available? Don't you think it's taking too long? Vaccine, producing a vaccine is is a very tedious process it's it's not a very simple thing it has to go through a lot of steps there's a stepwise process to to come out with a vaccine mm-hmm. and usually on an average it takes about 18 months to two years in in some cases more than that now <clears throat> the problem as a as a as i previously also mentioned with epidemics of viral epidemics especially is that these viruses go on changing their character, mm-hmm. right? So this virus is not going to remain the same virus as far as character is concerned, as far as pathogenicity or virulence is concerned after three weeks. Mm-hmm. So there is definitely going to change, uh, going to be a change. Oh, yeah. Because of the simple fact that this, this uh, mutation, of virus which has which makes it a, a very virulent uh, sort of uh, pathogen mm-hmm. is not evolutionary mm-hmm. a beneficial thing for the virus mm-hmm. itself because when the virus infects some person and that person as an end end uh, sort of end host or an end point is killed it means the virus is also killed so the virus cannot effort to continue to kill each and every single person whom it infects. That is the basic principle Mm -hmm. of nature. So, extrapolating that basic principle of nature into the the facts means that over a period of time, over two weeks or three weeks, this virus is going to change. Mm -hmm. Now, if you come out with a vaccine, for example, Mm -hmm. let's suppose that we can just come out with a vaccine within two weeks or three weeks. Now, what if this vaccine does not work then properly? What if the virus changes itself and all of a sudden this, this, this vaccine is absolutely useless? Now, producing a vaccine means investment. Producing a vaccine means money. Producing a vaccine means a lot of labor put into, into, into it. Now, you have to, the companies or or, or the establishments who work on the vaccines, they have to take into consideration many factors. So that's why it takes time for the vaccine to come out. And vaccine per se, 
it is it is it is something something which uh, which does not help usually in the epidemics mm -hmm. vaccines usually help after the epidemics settle so 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 that is that is how it works so it usually takes 18 to 18 months to 2 years but when you use the models so models have a beauty they help to sort of contact the time period but still it may take 8 to 9 months at the, at the least 8 to 9 months for the vaccine to come out in the market I thank you Dr. Kazi for giving us your valuable time and your valuable information of course um, I hope you guys found this video helpful and do apply it to your daily life. Thank you.